Now let's take another very good question. It says that we have to find the sum of the infinity series. Now uh, you must have come across a similar kind of question wherein we have been given a series which is neither AP nor GP. It's a mix of many things, right? So the, the, the standard approach here is that identify that if there is something uh, which is uh, uh, which is uh, multiplied in each of the term or I mean to say that if there is any common ratio, if you observe that the denominator is in GP, so it is 4 then multiplied by 2 it is uh, we are getting 8 and then 16, 32, 64 so and so forth and the numerator is not in AP but it is into uh, the, the series in but the series in the numerator is Fibonacci series. Now the standard approach for such question is that you assume that the value is equal to s. So if you take this is 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus 2 by 16 plus 3 by 32 32 plus 5 by 64 plus 8 by 128 so and so forth. Now, since the common ratio is 2 in the denominator, but if I, talk, if I talk about the term wise, the common ratio will be 1 by 2. So, you can see that if uh, ignoring the numerator, the common ratio to, to get all the values in the denominator, I have to multiply it by 1 by 2. So, the standard approach says that you uh, multiply the series again with the same common ratio. So, it will be half of S is equal to 1 by 8. So, I am writing 1 by 8 beneath the second term. Similarly, the next term will be multiplied by 1 by 2. So, 1 by 2 will be multiplied by 1 by 8. So, it will be 1 by 16. The other term will be 2 by 32. Next one will be 3 by 64. Other will be 5 by 128. So, and so forth till infinity. Now, for once we have done this, we have to manipulate either sum or, or, or subtraction or something as whatever is required. It basically depends upon the manipulation so that the expression becomes simplified. So, let me assume that this is equation 1, this is equation number 2. So, let me do 1 minus 2. That means subtracting equation 2 from the equation 1. So, I will be getting s minus 1 by 2 of s is equal to half of s which will be equal to 1 by 4. Now these two terms will get cancelled out. The next term will be 2 by 16 minus 1 by 16 which is 1 by 16 only. The other will be 3 by 32 minus 2 by 32 is 1 by 32. The next term will be 2 by 64. The other will be 3 by 128 so and so forth. Now observe that if I take 1 by 4 common from all the terms starting from the second term that is from this term onward if I take 1 by 4 as common so the rest of the things becomes 1 by 4 plus 1 by 8 plus 2 by 16 plus 3 by 32 so and so forth now observe that this particular thing is nothing but the original expression itself so I can write this as 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 into s and this is equal to half of s. So, in further, uh, further uh, just shifting this particular thing into the LHS part, it will be 1 by 2 s minus 1 by 4 times of s is equal to 1 by 4 or on further simplification, I will get that the value of s is 1. So, the expression, the sum of this value is 1. This is the answer.